What's good? Grab the shot recovery. We're going to do a reaction to my boy's new song, Koichi. Lord, if you hear me. Man, this guy is just an amazing music artist, amazing rapper. Um, I believe he's so underrated for his talent level. He should be well over a million subs. Man, this guy is so talented. Let's get into it. How I There's many reasons why I practice unconditional surrender in my life. But to be honest, I just got tired of starting over. Yeah. I'm heading nowhere fast, quickly foot is on the gas. Lord, if you hear me, grab the wheel before I crash. I'm fear that my life is over, let me throw it in the trash. But I'm grateful I'm alive, thinking about the ones that passed. I try to pray, but sometimes I'm falling short. God will whisper quietly, the ball is in your court. And I'm doing my best just... I don't know if you heard him, but, you know, I, I do wonder sometimes why I made it through. And, and if you go back just about two verses, he said, you know, he wonders why he ain't the one who passed. And, you know, I've lost so many friends um, through drug addiction that I wonder sometimes, man, like, how am I the one who made it? You know, out of 30 friends that I lost, how, how am I the one that made it? Trying to scale with shame, trying to climb up out the gutter, but my life is still the same. This alcohol is numbing me, but only for the moment. I'm feeling weak and frail, but I refuse to ever show it. With all these racing thoughts, I find it hard to function now. Appetite for destruction, my stomach growls. I never gave a fuck until the day my daughter was born. I used to enjoy hell, grab the devil by the horns. I'm the Man, I relate to that too. He said, I never gave a fuck till the day I, my daughter was born. And man, uh... Lord, if that ain't true, uh, I got into recovery just two years before my daughter was born. And uh, the first couple of years in recovery, I lost my mom and my dad. My daughter was born, actually. My dad got to meet her. I think she she was nine months old, maybe. She was a little under a year old when he passed. But, um, man, you know, when you have kids, it, it adds a whole other level of things. And it, and it makes you realize um, there's so much more to life, you know. Unavoided shit, finding comfort in the storm. Listen, I have dead friends that I still haven't more. Direction, won't you put me on the right track? Whatever life is throwing at. Said I have dead friends that I still haven't mourned. Um, there, I'm sorry, I gotta keep stopping this, but he's got so many verses in this that just hit at home. You know, um, there's friends. Like I said, there'd be days I hit, it'll hit me like, man, you know, I ain't talking to them again. You know, they're gone. They're in the ground and. uh you know, I've lost so many that it is hard to mourn them all. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's crazy. I promise I'll fight back. This anxiety is part of me. It's hard to breathe. And this is what I'm dealing with. It's more than just my artistry. I want to calm and quiet, but my life is mostly stress. In the midst of chasing my dreams, I guess I overslept. I try to keep it moving. This depression's got a hold of me. And I would throw it all away if I was still the older me. I should ask for help, but really don't know who to call. See, I don't care. I'm not afraid to lose it all. I'm mad suicidal as I maneuver through these raindrops, swallowing these pills as I attempt to make the pain stop all the flashbacks the terror makes me cringe because i remember seeing blood inside of that syringe i'm causing massive damage well i got the needle grip see i'm not a bad person i'm just doing evil shit i'm giving this all i got until the day i tap out welcome and encouragement but i attract doubt see i'm jumping out my skin i'm just trying to survive the stress and agitation is colliding in my mind what am i supposed to do i feel i'm falling off the edge and all these bad decisions are revolving in my head Growing up uncertain, my father was a stranger. Compassion's non existent, I would rather feel the anger. I want to end it, but I'm coping with the surge. Holding it together, but I'm broken and disturbed. I'm breaking every law while I'm eluding police. Resentments are the poison that is polluting my peace. So no one look at me, just let me go unnoticed. I want to pull the trigger, but I see the gun is loaded. Holding this gun to my head is making my arms higher. Hold the knife above my back and threw it in the bonfire. A few verses back, he said, you know, re resentments are the poisons that hold me back. And then, you know, he just said, I pulled that knife up out my back and I threw it in the fire. And that's what you got to do, man. You can't hold on to resentments. You got to let all that go, especially when you get into recovery or you're trying to get clean. You got to let all the resentments go. 
and, and just move forward with life and push that positivity. And that's what I love about Kalichi, man. He he brings the pain and the and the realness of addiction into his songs while while talking about his recovery. And uh, if you're in recovery, man, you got to go check Kalichi out for real. Amazing song, amazing song. This guy, I, I've not heard a song from Kalichi that ain't just super deep. I mean, it's not just a great song, you know, that you can feel and, you know what I mean? Music you can really feel in the heart and you relate to. So trust me, man, you, you know, go check him out. This guy should have well over a million subs. Super talented rapper. Y'all check him out. Stay up, stay sober, keep grinding, keep shining, y'all.